Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2018 video tutorial. I want to do the contour 2, now parametric. And that's another remake, now in HD with audio commentary. I want to use the design center, the select similar command and the quick selection. So first things first, there are some layers in this drawing. I will close that one make a new one and start with the standard template which is the ArtCut ESO DVT template. There are no layers apart from layer 0 of course. Now how to get those other layers into that drawing? There are many ways. One way would be I think very intuitive and very practical way would be the design center. Go to view, go to design center. I have already anchored it on the left side so that's the design center that's an explorer for AutoCAD drawings go to the drawing that would be in this case contour 2 drawing go to the layers and select those layers and you can put it into your new drawing pair drag and drop just like this that's very easy to do okay now I need Let's move this a little bit up. Okay, go for a line. I zoom in a little bit, otherwise I will be too big. Okay, maybe like this. And close it. And now make sure these endpoints are with a coincident constraint. So go for parametric and make an auto constraint. Right click enter and now you got those constraints and that's by accident it's parallel already. Now add a horizontal constraint, okay. Then go for a vertical constraint and another one repeat the command right here. Now add some dimensions. You could give that a name, call it length equals 120 and repeat the command from that point to this point would be the height and again I could go for a formula that could be length divided by 2 plus 20. Let's move these, sorry, <laughs> to the correct layer, which would be the contour layer, and make the contour layer the active layer. Now I need two circles, one circle here, repeat the command, another circle there. Now add some more parametric dimensions. From that center to this point, don't change the value right now, I'll change it with a parameter manager, okay, this one and that one. Now the diameter dimensions, repeat the command, okay, now the parameter match is right here and I've already anchored it on the left side, over here, and you could change the values, I want to make it a little bit bigger. right here and it's marked in the model space as well so this would be 40 that would be 50 this one would be 35 that one 
would be 35 that diameter would be tw no, 20 by 30 and this one would be 50 okay let's go for the fillets fillet right click go for multiple and I will do them all with 10 and then change it with the parameters so go for radius for example 10 select line that line this line that line this line that line this line and quick select is on this line okay now i need the dimensions parametric go for a radius and maybe first you should do another auto constraint otherwise you will lose the tangency okay now i can do that radius constraint that's 10 that's okay repeat that's 10 that's okay repeat this would be 30 repeat and that would be 50 and I didn't lose any constraints that's great that's different to NanoCAD for example and then I want to move it to the origin so I go for home move move all of this right click base point would be intersection point right here and put this onto zero colon zero so go for hashtag zero colon zero enter and everything should be moved to the origin right here so hope you enjoyed this one let's move this a little bit up if you liked it please give it a like if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page one thing i should mention these parametric dimensions will not be printed and you cannot move it at least at the moment to another layer you would have to change something in the properties of these dimensions but that's a topic for another video so thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye